What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the Combat Corporation, your source for combat sports. I'm your host, Al the Postmaster Morrow, and today I have a gear review on the Hit and Move All Day Premium Pro Soft Training Gloves. I can do this all day. Alright everybody, as always I'm incredibly excited to bring you yet another gear review and today we have the Hit and Move All Day Pro Training Gloves and this is the Premium model in the Pro Soft model as well. Uh, and I'm really excited to do this review because I've used these gloves extensively uh, and I only use these actually to train in and that is sparring and bag work, mitt work and everything else for my last fight that I had almost a month ago. And I've still pretty much been using these and a few other ones obviously because I got to review stuff for the channel. But I've been using these gloves extensively since I got them in the middle of July and I am thoroughly impressed with these gloves. And if you remember, I reviewed the hit and move uh, all day they were the pro agility model and I reviewed them at the end of July early August right after my surgery and I had those since I believe June if not late May or early June and I was really excited to do the review uh, because Hit and Move is such a cool company right off the bat. Uh, I just want to reiterate once again these were sent to me Hit and Move did reach out to me however I did pay in full for these gloves because uh, you know what it's money well spent with these things uh, but Ozzy, the guy that owns Hit and Move, let me give you a brief history of Hit and Move, started boxing with his wife, and basically the name Hit and Move came from uh, trying to explain the sport of boxing to his wife. He said, well, it's kind of like this, you have to hit and move. <laughs> and so that's where the name came from, and I love that. And that is now uh, patented. They now have that uh, term, Hit and Move, patented for their company. And then the all-day training gloves came from the idea that Ozzy basically would see people use these crappy gloves, and then he had a small collection going himself. He was a fan of a lot of guys on YouTube that uh, would uh, review gloves like me, C Squared, Fit to Box, and a couple other guys, and basically said that he always got the gist from us that, you know, we always wish we could just cut open a pair of gloves and just mix and match the foams, the paddings, the linings, and everything to make the glove perfect for us. And that's virtually what OZ did. He had the collection cut into them, actually did the research of what it is, found what works, found what doesn't, and at the end of the day, made the all-day training glove and basically said that is all the gloves that you love, only it's in one and it's better, which is insane to think about. So it's really cool uh, that he decided to do that because that's something I, for one, don't have the guts to do because I love my gloves. I have a lot and I would never harm any of them. <laughs> but but uh, I, I'm really excited for these because Hit and Move's only been around for maybe a year, uh, if that even, and they've made such strides. I mean, they have uh, the new mitts that they just released that a lot of trainers are using that's supposed to be orthopedically designed for your hands. Uh, and then on top of it, he has the reflex trainer that has a lot of people using it. Like Gervonta Davis is even using this thing. Uh, you know, there are a few up and coming pros like Jaleel Hackett that's using these. And now they have a couple uh, models even from the last time that I reviewed. Uh, of course, they have the Agility All Day Pros that I still um, that I still have and I still use. Uh, but I, they also have the Premiums. And they have three different colorways. And the exact model I have is the white colorway. The white, red, and blue. So I love that. It's the USA colors. And these are actually uh, designed in the USA as well, uh, which is always cool. Uh, but it's the USA colors. You can also get them in a the neon green color, which I really want. Uh, and then they have the red, I believe it's just red and green like Mexican colors as well. Uh, and you can get them in 14 or 16 ounces. And I got these in 16 ounces. Uh, but Ozzy basically said, uh, you know, a lot of companies out there will try and basically just reach out to a manufacturer without any designing and say, oh, I'm going to slap my logo on it and basically call it a new glove. And that's not what it is. So Ozzy actually sat down and designed a pair of gloves told the manufacturer what he wants. He basically said, I can't make them, but I tell you what, this is what I want, and that's exactly what came about it. Uh, you know, they also have a few other models out there. They have fight gloves that you can get now, which I, I you know, I don't collect fight gloves really because they don't last so long, but I'm really excited to, I want to try those out. And then they have an all-day uh, sparring glove as well. 
uh, which I imagine is probably virtually the same as these, only it's uh, meant for sparring and they have lace-ups too. So it's always good to have a lace-up pair. But with that said, let's actually get into the review itself. Like I said, I have the white, uh, red, white, and blue model, all right? It's primarily white, blue, and red, I should say, because I go in order of succession of the most colors. And when we talk about the look of the glove, uh, you can see that we have a white punch surface all the way throughout here, up to the fingers as well. The thumb is also white, but we also go to the logos, which pops out. I, I don't know what it is about the hit and move logo, but I love how it pops out so well. Uh, and you know, because I'm I'm a child, for some reason I imagine like a robot, like crown. I don't I don't know why, but basically, uh, you know, you got that blue and red, and it says hit and move all day across in the in the lettering here, and uh, it pops out really well. It's really put on there perfectly. And the other thing is about uh, the lettering. Uh, is that most brands, even the logos and stuff, some big brands, the logos tend to wear off and fall off. This does not happen at all. They still look brand new. Then we go to the thumb and it says all day. That's the model of these. And that's basically the slogan behind these gloves is that they can be used all day. And uh, you know, I can't help but agree, but we're getting to that part. Uh, so once again, that's a white thumb until we get to the palm, which is all blue. It's a metallic blue. And I tell you what, blue, it's like a violet blue almost. Uh, it's I love blue. It's one of my favorite colors out there and this blue is kind of unique uh i don't know what it is i think it's the way that the light catches it i mean i i use lights to record uh you know my videos and stuff and i can tell you these gloves are very easy to do there are some gloves out there you got to mess with the lighting and these the blue catches so perfectly the white catches perfectly the red catches perfectly it's a very visually appealing glove uh but we talk about that metallic blue until we get to the red palm piping here uh and then we get to the wrist cuff which is all white here, okay? And then you have the hit and move logo there, as well as right there. And on the inside, it's also white with the black Velcro, of course. I don't know of many brands I have any other Velcro other than black, to be honest, but there's some out there. Uh, and then we have the red piping along there. Going back to the wrist, you can see it says genuine leather at the bottom. It has a genuine leather stamp, and it says, uh, what does that say? Designed in USA, yep right down there with the USA flag uh, that you can see once again all that blue just catches down perfectly and then it says hit and move uh, the logo right there across the bottom again uh, and then we get to the back and it gives you that little 16 ounce stamp right at the bottom that little uh, paper tag uh, which you know like just basically uh, there's not much to say about that other than it tells you that it's uh, 16 ounces uh, then we get to the thumb attachment uh, which is all white and it's pretty close and then uh, the interior lining is all black. But what I love about this is that it says hit and move all the way throughout the lining, which is a really, really cool lining. I love that quite a, bit, quite a lot. Uh, there's a tag on the inside basically says, you know what, boxing is a pretty dangerous sport. Be careful when using these. And, you know, every glove just about has that. Uh, so a few things that you might have noticed as I was reviewing this glove uh, in the looks is that you can see some of the paint is like ch not chipping away, but it's fading away a little bit, which is going to happen with any glove that you use. Uh, it's not a big deal. It's not going to affect it at all. You can see like a little tiny black dot there that I that happened when I scraped against the mat when I was sparring. Uh, you know, and a little smudge down there, but it's going to happen with any gloves, especially when you're, uh, you know, you're dragging them through the mud, basically what you're doing, uh, you know, and they're very easy to clean otherwise. So with that said, we now get the look of the glove. Let's talk about the design of the glove, starting with the exterior shell. Uh, so basically the shell is made out of a top quality grained leather and what the grain is is basically you see all the grain like marks going throughout here which in the last glove wasn't so visible they kind of trimmed the top of it down so it's kind of you know it just looks like one smooth piece of leather unlike other gloves out there you know you can see the grain uh, leather in inside it and a lot of people like that because usually having the grain visible means that it's gonna last longer because every thing about this like if you look at your hands and you see the little grooves and div divots are in your skin that is the grain of your skin it's the top part of your skin and basically what would happen is if you shave that part off it would get rid of the grain it would still be a top grain type of leather 
but you're getting rid of the look of the grain. Uh, this looks a bit more natural, uh, which I like. I like the grain leather, and it's a very soft leather. And a lot of people don't understand what the actual exterior shell does, is that if it's a soft leather, and I like that they caught this too, uh, they actually put it in their description. Uh, when it's a softer leather, it usually means that it's gonna be softer on your hands, it's gonna be softer on the padding, and it's not gonna take as harsh of a beating. When you have a very hard exterior shell and it pushes through, it'll actually affect your hands and everything all at once as, as well so you know that's something to take into consideration this leather is very soft it's uh it's kind of to me reminiscent of of reyes as far as like the softness of the leather you know reyes is a very soft you know supple leather and this is no exception this is a very soft and supple leather and it's very good uh it's pretty tight to the padding unless i really sandwich the foam you can see how much leather you just have pulling off of that i mean if you get an idea there's a good inch of leather nice leather and you can feel the the under hide that they use it's not like they put like a patch underneath it the hides actually stitched not stitched but attached to the padding on the inside perfectly and that's all throughout this entire glove and what's even more impressive is that they were able to keep the leather here you know, because different colors of the leather will affect the glove as well, is that this is still just soft and durable. Even the metallic paint didn't do anything to the hide all that much. Uh, but the white for sure, uh, you know, the white leather, which is a popular uh, glove color, is really good. It was, uh, I, I'd be curious to see about a black leather with this uh, model, just like they have with the Agility All Day Pro. So I imagine it wouldn't be uh, all that much different, but it's a very soft and durable leather too. Like I said, it's a very durable leather. The only thing is it's white, so it is gonna stain a little bit easier than other colors out there, uh, but it's a very, very soft ex exterior shell. When we talk about the interior, though, uh, we talk about the padding and they use a dark padding is the way it's explained. And I honestly, the theory that Ozzy had with this is basically, it's incredible to me, is that uh, when you take a dart, you want it to go straight, just like your punches. You want them to go straight out or straight over, straight up. You don't want the weight of the glove to divot you in certain ways. And just to kind of prove that this glove, for one, weighs right on target, uh, why it calls that, why it's called that, uh, it's a 16 ounce glove and it weighs in at, let's see if you can even see that. Probably not. It says, uh, pound wise without me being on it, it's 1.03. So it's 16.03 ounces. So it's virtually right on target. It's 0 0.03 over. It's not like 0 0.3 over, which would be, you know, a little bit more, but it's 0 0.03 over. So it's it's right on the money. And you know, tell you what, with the padding on the inside being the way it's designed, it's so straightforward that it basically cradles your hands in a certain way and it protects your hands at the same time. So it's a really impressive glove as far as that goes, it's straight. So he basically took all the padding, meshed it together and threw it straight, called it dart padding, which <laughs> to me, that's just amazing. Uh, I, I'm laughing because it's like, I never would have stopped to think about that. Um, it's a very well-balanced glove. You know, that's the one thing I love about the, oh, let me get it balanced first. You know, I'm balancing out my finger here like this, and most gloves are very top heavy. This glove is not. Uh, most gloves have uh, kind of weak wrist support, but because of that dart padding, it kind of keeps the bottom part evenly distributed as well. It's very soft, the padding. That's why it's called the All Day Softs, but it's very repellent as well. So it's a very good springy type of glove. So if you're a puncher, uh, you know, it has that latex feel to it. It also has high density foams layered in there as well. Uh, and it's that dart padding that's perfectly meshed together to go completely straight. Uh, so it has the protective qualities of a pillow. It's a pretty uh, big enough glove, but it's also sleek at the same time. And it's also uh, the padding on the inside is very uh, bouncy, reflective, has a good pop to it. So it's also a puncher. So this is what I categorize as a hybrid glove. And it, uh, to me, combines all three uh, components at the same time, defensive punchers and pillow style glove. Uh, then we talk about going into the thumb, which usually when it has this part stitched separate, usually means that the thumb was attached separately, which is uh, not surprising because this thumb is very free floating. It's very much in the perfect spot. And I tell you what, there's like a good, I'd say maybe half an inch of padding right in front of my thumb here too. So the fact that I can't ever smash my thumb, which usually never happens anyway, is reassuring as well. The thumb is very padded. It's very comfortable, just like the bottom of my wrist. 
or the top part of my wrist rather is very padded from the dart padding. It's all the way throughout the entire glove. So it's a very comfortable feel. Uh, I can really feel my knuckles which is good for your uh, hands. If you got brittle hands, that's always good. But like, like I said, it bounces off. It's kind of like what I do for like Reyes gloves. And if you watch this, it'll bounce. See how it bounces up a couple times? Cause you can definitely tell that there's like a, there's a latex in there to kind of give you that puncher's feel, that pop to it as well. Uh, talking about the interior lining, uh, it's actually, uh, Hit and move is uh, temperature controlling and moisture wicking, and it's also antimicrobial. It's a very soft, I call it like a pillow-like uh, surface. It kind of feels like um, like leggings, only if you were to kind of put like uh, more of a padded foam on the inside of it. So if we're doing that, uh, you go up to the finger compartment. There's a lot of, you know, slack so you can open you can parry muay thai and mma you can do that as well and the interior lining is so comfortable it's so soft that i really honestly wouldn't be surprised if people don't use hand wraps with these i know i've gotten away with not using hand wraps so it's very protective on the inside as well uh it's not too hot on the inside at all uh and you also have you know the breathe holes like most gloves have right here on the thumbs if you can see those, uh, to kind of get some air circulation on the inside going. Then at the bottom of the glove, the front part of the wrist, we also have a soft, uh, probably just an EVA foam type feel going on throughout here. And that's kind of, you know, with the pad, the palm. It's also, once again, that interior lining is padded and the, and the leather is so padded and soft and thick that you don't really need a whole lot of foam at the bottom. In fact, there's not a whole lot, and I can tell you why it's because once again, it's weight the weight is perfect. So when we talk about that, we never want um, we never want that uh, to be misconstrued that the weight is perfect as well. It's not a top heavy glove at all. It does this just because you have like, how can I word it? Uh, it it's not lace up, so it's not completely one conform thing. But I can tell you right now, the wrist does not bend so much like other things do, right? You can bend it like this, but at the end of the day, unlike some other gloves, even with a wrist bar on it, when I put this on, it doesn't bend back that much and it doesn't bend forward that much, right? Some gloves do. So when I strap this thing, my wrist is not going down further than my natural way is supposed to. Same thing here and off to the side as well. It's a very flexible and protective glove for the wrist. So the wrist support, the knuckle support and everything's perfect. But you know what, let's go into the bag work and I'm gonna do an extensive bag work so I can tell you everything that I feel uh, when I use these gloves in action. So when it comes to using these gloves, sorry about the little bar at the bottom, uh, I love hitting the bag with these gloves just because of the response that you get off of them. Uh, you know, compared to a lot of other gloves that are so soft, I get such a feedback and such a pop off the bag as you can hear. Uh, they're so light that I can really move my hands as fast as I want and then I can also bang into the bag as hard as I want as well. You know, I'm, I'm not hitting this bag soft, I'm trying to, trying to hurt it at the same time. Uh, I love how it doesn't feel like there's a whole awful lot like weighing my hand down. The dart padding keeps it straight at all times. It's very easy to hit the bag with these. It's very easy to spar with these as well, uh, just because of how light they are. As you can see, the clinch work here is so easy because the grip on these gloves is just phenomenal. Um, they're big enough to cover my entire head if I'm really in a defensive shell at any point. So that's always a good plus to have. Uh, as far as these gloves go, I mean, hitting the bag, uh, just getting a good recoil and everything else off them is perfect. Uh, if you're looking for supportive bag glove, mitt work glove, or anything along those lines, sparring glove, I mean, just the weight, the balance and everything, I can, you know, as the glove says, I can really hit the bag as long as I want, maybe even all day. So uh, as far as bag work goes, I love these gloves. So when it comes to the look of these gloves, you can see the lettering pop out perfectly. The Hit and Move logo, and of course, as I showed before, the all-day lettering across the thumb. These are really aesthetically pre pleasing gloves. You can see them all the way across the gym. The letterings pop out. The colors, especially the metallic blue, just pops out right at you. I really think these are gonna be some gloves that you're gonna enjoy using all day and getting hit with. All right, folks, so my final verdict for the Hit and Move All Day Pro Soft premium training gloves is I absolutely love these gloves and they are pretty much a front runner for my favorite glove that I've used for a long time, if not up there of all time. The only thing that I really wish I could do with these is fast forward five years from now and see if they still last like these uh, are right now. Because my favorite glove, as everyone knows, is the Clato Reyes training glove because I've had it for so long and usually when I don't know what I wanna use, I go to pick Reyes 
and that's usually one of my top picks. But now it's starting to become, it's between Reyes and these because they are out of this world as far as what it goes, especially for the price point. Uh, I usually don't talk about price at the end, but when you talk about price, you have a glove that goes for $190 plus free shipping. So it's 200 bucks, which is right in the price range of all the other gloves out there. It's cheaper than winning, much cheaper than Grant. It's uh, around the same price as Clato Reyes training gloves would be. So about $200 right in that ballpark. And everyone's going to say, oh, that's still expensive. Well, it's a professional level glove. And a lot of professionals are starting to use them, and for good reason. It's a very high-quality product. Uh, the leather is outstanding. The padding is outstanding. Uh, it fits for everybody. I mean, I, I've, I've let a few of my teammates try these out uh, when they were looking for new gloves. Uh, you know, some of them had uh, issues with hands, and I asked them, I said, do you mind doing me a favor? Go right up to the bag and just smack these as hard as you can. I really want to put them to the test. And he didn't have hand wraps on either, and his hands were fine. Uh, so the softness of the glove is great for sparring. It's great for hitting the bags. It's great for hitting the mitts. Uh, it's good on my sparring partners. It's it's phenomenal on my hands. And on top of it, usually when I have such a soft glove, it usually takes away the feedback I get off of you know hitting the bags and stuff, which prevents most punchers from using it or hard hitters because they really like feeling their punches go through. Though I never feel like my knuckles have gone through to the bag, like say with Reyes or something. I definitely feel the recoil coming off and. I definitely feel the recoil coming off the padding, so I still get that nice sink in feel every time I hit anything or everything, which is something that a lot of pillow gloves or defensive gloves just don't do because it's either too thick or it's just much too soft for my hand to feel anything. Uh, so the fact that the dart padding on the inside is actually designed to do that for everybody is uh, really impressive and I, I really love that. Uh, as far as this goes, uh, you know, there are some gloves out there that try and do it that fail miserably and they're also not durable and it doesn't last very long. And these I put through the ringer already. Uh, the only thing that I guess worried me at first is like I said, there's some paint that, you know, is starting to fade away. But I mean, any gloves going to do that and it's white. Uh, usually white gloves t tend to get dirty or they fade away faster. But I can tell you what, the inside feels just as good as it did when it came out of the box, which is insane. Most gloves, when they come out of the box, they're very stiff. There's a big break in process and you don't really have that with these gloves. So you should take them out, bring them to the gym that day and you're all set. Uh, you know, and like I said, for about 190 bucks, uh, there are gloves out there that, that range for much more that are very much insignificant in quality compared to these, uh, you know, and that's the one thing that I love about these gloves. And the other thing is that when they say all day training gloves, it's not incorrect. It really does give you that feedback so you feel like you can hit something all day, every day. So I really love that effect that it gives you as well. Um, it's, you know, I always talk about smells like a brand new leather shoe as well you know the leather's high quality uh the stitching is very good quality i noticed i haven't been talking about the stitching uh as of late and that's my fault but basically you know there's no like threads that are popping out anywhere the stitching's right in line the wrist support for a glove that even you know at first glance looks like it's top heavy it's actually a very balanced glove as you can see let me actually balance it properly okay let me try one more time boom okay there we go it's balanced properly, okay? And that's the thing, it's not you know heavy towards the top or heavy towards the bottom, it's right there in the center, right? It's perfect on my hand, I can do this no problem. Whereas, you know, gloves, I even love them myself. Like Reyes doesn't have the best wrist support and that's especially, you know, if I were to do this with the Reyes right now, I can tell you what happened, that would happen. I would, I turned my hand in that instance, but this is perfectly balanced and I love that dart padding concept. The thumb is in a very comfortable position and for me especially because I, I do still train boxing, I still spar with boxing, I still hit the mitts with a boxing coach, but I primarily train in mixed martial arts is that these are great for big glove sparring as well. You know, uh, they can open very easily. Uh, if you're big into pairing for boxing, they open very easily. You can get such a good grip. And in fact, the grip for me is better than some actual tie gloves out there. They open so well. They're very soft towards everywhere. It's a very form-fitting glove. And the interior lining for me is awesome. The best part is, is that there's so much room on the inside of, of the hand uh, that, I mean, not, not so much room, but it basically kind of conforms to where your hand is. So if you put more padding up on your knuckles, the padding on the inside of the glove 
will push up for you to allow you to do that, which I love when gloves do that. There are too many gloves out there that just don't do that. But you know what, honestly, if you're one of the guys that don't use hand wraps, uh, I mean, the interior lining's so padded that it kind of serves that purpose almost. I can't tell you the amount of times where I was at the gym and I, I wanted to just hit the bag for a round or two, I already took off my wraps, I'll go use these. And it doesn't make the inside smell all that bad, you just gotta clean them. Uh, and it doesn't make the interior lining, you know, mess up at all. So it's a very, very well-made glove as far as that goes. Now, the age-old question I got from everyone at my gym, because they all know that I love my Reyes, is do I like these better than Reyes? <laughs> Theoretically, yes. In a lot of ways, I do, simply because that they are great for everybody. I, I wouldn't not recommend these gloves to anybody. Uh, you know, for me, they're a 10 out of 10 personally for me, and, and they're a 10 out of 10 for everybody. Uh, you know, for a professional level glove, you can't really look that much farther and find something that's going to be, you know, fit everything that you like as far as comfortability goes and as far as performance goes and durability goes. My big thing is I can't answer if I like them more than Ray is yet because, I, like I said, I wish I could fast forward five years and see how they operate. You know, if they are trashed in a year, then you know then no they're they're not my favorite but however i don't see these gloves getting trashed within two three years even with extensive use like i have with my rays and my rays are still taken care of i also take care of my gloves very much i love my gloves very much it's what i do i love collecting them so naturally i will take care of them just like i will these you know i think these gloves could definitely last me you know four or five years of good use uh but i tell you what uh right now i i, I I'd probably put them up there definitely within my top five, if not number two, three, two, or one. They're up there for sure, you know, uh, but I think hit and move, if they continue with this rate that they're growing, is going to be a big threat to a lot of bigger companies. I think in the next maybe three or four years, you will see hit and move in a couple more championship fights or a couple more pro fighters will start to use these a lot more. I think the design is very appealing. I think the operation of the glove is very appealing. And I think you're going to see a lot of people, especially my age, are starting to come up, you know, in the early 20s that are really going to start, you know, hounding to use stuff like this. Uh, because, you know, equipment just needs to be simple <laughs> at the end of the day. And these, and these are simple for everyone to use. But with that said, folks, if you have any questions about these gloves, I'll put them in the uh, link in the description below. They have a few different models you can get as far as this goes. Uh, they also have a sparring glove model. They have the uh, the black model, which is the Agility Pro uh a pro agility training goes rather and then they have a few different colorways you can get them in 14 ounces or 16 ounces and the colorways are lime like a lime neon green and then they also have uh the mexican flag colors red green and then the uh, red green and white and then they also have the white red and blue here as you can see uh, but if you have any questions, Hit and Move is very responsive on Instagram. Uh, you know, pick their brain a bit if you want to and, and see uh, if it's something that you'd like to get into. But with that said, folks, I'm Al, the Postmaster Mario with the Combat Corporation. And thanks for watching your source of combat sports. Of course, as always, drop some comments in the comment section below. Like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell, whatever you want to do, and reach out to me on the Instagram or Facebook pages. I'd love to talk to you, all right? With that said, everybody, I'll see you on the next episode. Have a great day.